Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here today. And you should be too. And you might remember seeing these from a previous video. I had these cufflinks that was in that uh, fat-free butter thingy. had all the stones in it. And since I need a pair, it's like, you know what? We should cut stone and put on these thingies. So that's what we're going to do. And I have here a piece of lapis. Yes, one of my favorite stones. And it's a fairly nice piece of lapis. I mean, I can't find anything really wrong with it. It doesn't seem to have a lot of flex of stuff in it. But it does have some really rich color. So, I'm thinking this would actually be a pretty good candidate for making some stones to put on this, on these cufflinks. So, we have a seam right here. You can seam the seam, see the seam? Seamity, 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 seam? Yeah. I don't think we can get two of them out of this one piece. But, if we take and cut along that seam... And we'll definitely have enough that we can get two decent size cufflinky pieces. Yeah, so that's what we need, cufflinky pieces. So I'm going to take this over onto the saw and I'm going to slice down that seam and seam what we can get. <laughs> yeah, okay, don't go away. Okay, we're back. And let's set this out the way. Got ourselves two nice, nice looking slabs here. And I believe we should be able to get, I have no trouble getting two, yeah, two out of there. May have a little bit of finagling to do. But, oh, if I can drop it some more, why don't I? Okay, let's see here. I will zoom in just a hair. And that's like a good spot for it right there, I think. I was going to use the circle template, but I don't think we need to because we can just make a circle around it that way. And I really can't see it, so I may have to use a marker. Let's see if that helps. Okay, is the marker going to... Yes. I think about Using the markers that if it's rough stones sort of tear the marker apart. And I can't even hold things today. Oh, yeah, there. Alright, let me try it again. Here we got this one. And they're the same size. Let's just Yes, that will be good. That will be good, and that will be good. So, to be good, I'll take these over onto the saw, trim these up a little bit, and then we'll get the hand crank flat lap, and we'll get them nice and round before we put them on a stick to do them. So, don't go away. Okay. We're back. We got this. Got these trimmed down pretty much to where we need them to be. We're going to cut the rest of this out on the hand crank machine because we can. Since this is pretty soft stuff, it's not going to take a whole lot. And whoa, chickens running everywhere. Okay, and there's all the light. Okay, that's a little bit better. A little bit loud, but hey. This is not fast, but it is efficient. So I'm going to continue doing this until I get them both cut down. So, <laughs> don't go away. Okay, 
Okay, we are back. And I just went ahead, put these on sticks. And I got a little line here where I want to make the girdle. And, well, that's pretty much it. So this should be pretty straightforward here. They're just nice and round, so I'm going to cut these down to the girdle line. The one might be a little bit thicker than the other, but that's, I don't think that's going to be any issue. Okay, we're just about there. Yeah, this one is quite a bit thicker than the other one. Okay, that's just about right. I'm going to cut this one down. Cut the rest of this top down, I should say. And these are going to be kind of straightforward, not too... Not exactly what you call difficult. And just round it over buttons almost. And seeing as how soft these are, sound a bit tinny for some reason. Seeing as how soft these are, it's not going to be hard to get these into a shape. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's. Go on this one. This one's got that top a little bit out of whack. I'm gonna even that up some. And then start cutting that edge down to the to the setting edge. Yeah, I don't know why that's awfully loud today. about to the shape we want when you're doing something round it sometimes it is quite easy I don't say easy it's just not mm, that's looking nice it's just it's just not complex well wow, that's fairly fairly even there yeah whoo Pre-shape this just a little bit more. I think I might do that with this one too. Just been showing a little bit more of the white in there, which isn't going to be much of a problem. Nope. I'm going to take a quick. Oh, that's nice. All right, so it's time to go to the next wheel already. Okay, let's start with. Yeah, let's start with this one. And I think I'm just going to go straight into the swirlies because I got that top. I like the dome one there, so I'm just going to go straight into the swirlies. And I'm going to come down a little bit. See, the top's pretty darn out of focus. Top's pretty darn even. I'm going to go straight into the swirlies and make sure that that setting edge is nice and... Nice and round the whole way up. And soft as this is, it's not going to be much to uh, get it to get it nice. Yep, up the sides is really good. I mean, just do the same thing here. Round over that top a little bit. That this is going to be straightforward and simple. I actually kind of like that. And then when you get whatever little bit of facets we have out on the next wheel, which I think we are ready to go to right now. Wow, this is going a lot quicker than I thought it would go. I'm going to hit that side nice and nicely on this wheel run that right up to the edge and 
super smoothy. These being lapis is kind of soft. It's sturdy, but it's still pretty soft. And it makes for an easy working stone, which is really nice. And do the same with this. And sort of zippity doo dah going through it pretty quick today. Which I said is not bad. Nice as this lapis looks, I wish I had had a better cuff link. <laughs> nope, I can always get one and make make more. Because that's what we do. Oh yes. You want to get all the facets out of there? Wow. This is going expediently. Okay, this is going very expediently as a matter of fact. Extremely fast. It will not take long on this wheel, as we all know that. Now the bigger this one is. Oh wow, look at that. That's gorgeous as it is. Good grief. I may not even need any further polishing. Okay. Same way with this one. Mm. I believe these are going to turn out really nicely. Okay, let's see. Oh my, yeah. That is. That is lovely. Absolutely lovely. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take these off the stick and, well, I'll meet you at the desk and we'll see how it looks, okay? Alrighty, we're back. And let's take a look at these. How, how does that get any better? I mean, those are beautiful beautiful looking i mean i cannot see how they could be any more beautiful looking and they're just about the right size if it would focus look at that just out over the edge of it and those will make fantastic looking cufflinks they absolutely great so the next thing to do is well, let's attach these to the cufflinks. Woo doo And we're done. So let's take a little bit closer look at these. And they're glued on there nicely. The cufflinks are all cuffy. And very much like two round buttons. I got them on there with two ton of, you know, five minute epoxy. They got two ton epoxy. And that should work out extremely well. I can polish this cheap brass up a little bit. And that's, I tell you what, that worked out pretty nicely. Hmm. I can definitely say that this pair of cufflinks and lapis is a win. So, if you like the video, hit the button, subscribe, uh, like the channel, it helps out a lot. And we will be back, or I will be back, well we, meaning I and the chickens, <laughs> will be back with more stuff. Do do do. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for spending some time with me and have a good evening.